Hey everybody, it's Rick and welcome back to my channel. I know uh, it's been a while and um, I appreciate you coming back to my channel. Um, I had some health issues and believe it or not, and I was in the middle of a move. That's how things work out, right? So thanks for coming back. You know, if you haven't hit my channel before, um, hit that bell icon down there at the bottom and click that bell icon. I appreciate it. It'll let you uh, know all the videos that are coming up. It'll notify you and hit that subscribe button. So let's go ahead and get to it. You know, from time to time, I do reviews on products and different things, and um, moving to the south now, I moved from Delaware down to South Carolina, hopefully a little bit better for me, and I'm going to review a product here from uh, First Nature. Um, we're setting up all new stuff down here, so I thought I'd go ahead and get some new stuff and uh, do some reviews on it. Um, if you've seen my uh, videos up top there, you've seen my cat King, um, you know, it's all new for him down here, so we're going to go to hang this, give him a little bit um, you know, activity so you can sit there at the window and watch these and hopefully it's going to work out. If you follow my channel, I like a lot of American products. So um, it's nothing, um, you know, personal against anybody else, but I believe in the American products. I hope that the quality is a little bit better. And this company here, First Nature, built a lot of American products. Um, I've done reviews before in the past. You click that link up top there, you're going to see the review on the Hummingbird feeder. And um, I like that hummingbird feeder, it's worked out perfect. We have that one hung now. We're just now starting to get some hummingbirds here. And uh, maybe I can hopefully show that with this feeder once it's hung up. This is, like I said, by uh, First Nature. Um, it's a pretty good size lantern feeder. And it's supposed to be a selector type feeder. Um, so where you can use like the small thistle seed, or you can use a larger seed with like the safflower or sunflower seeds. And that's what they uh, say. You can get this feeder at uh, multiple places. You can get it online at their um, website here, First Nature. And if you go on there as a first time buyer, you're going to get like a free four ounce uh, red hummingbird nectar, $6.90 value. When you spend more than $30, maybe you can load up on some stuff if you want to. They'll give you a, a coupon code once you sign up for their email address. And of course, here's the bottle here. And this is the uh, feeder. So oh, there you are right there. And when you see this, the feeder comes here, it looks like it has these little seed openings right there. And it'll handle up to five pounds of seed. And it's all like a polymer product, a nice heavy flexible polymer product. Looks like it's gonna hold up. It's got a bolt that comes through here. Looks like it's weatherproof. And a little S hook right there that you can hook on there for your pole or your post or whatever it is. It says maybe USA right there. It has a little, I guess, feed opening here to where you can either put a funnel or try to fill it in there. But the whole thing does break down. I'm not really sure if you want to try to fill it from there or you want to fill this off by just unscrewing here. And that'll unscrew like that. It's open. This polymer plastic here is molded into the lid, so that's not gonna come off on you. And this is what the inside looks like. Now, when you first get this, I was fooling around with it a little bit, and I was trying to figure out the way it comes. It's gonna come like this. And you're gonna see these little tiny holes here, and you're like, how the heck does the seed come through there? Because I have a multi-seed bag and um, it's got sunflower seeds and safflower seeds in there. And I'm like, there's no way the birds are going to be able to get in there. Well, this is the reason why. You turn this inside here by pulling it out and resetting it. It's got little clips in there and it sets right back in there again. And then that opens up the seed opening like a regular feeder with little baffles in there. And if you follow my channel, I make a lot of um, homemade feeders. I'll put a link up there if you want to, to check it out. But if you want to just go ahead and grab a pre-made, you know, bought feeder, then um, let's check this thing out and see if it works. So right here, I guess the seed comes down inside there, and then it flows out through these little baffles. And then your birds will sit right there. Looks like there's a pretty good gap here. Now, if we get some smaller birds, Hopefully they're going to be able to lean over there and get that. Now there are little steps right here that are pre-molded here. So maybe they're figuring, you know, like for your smaller chickadees and things like that, they can stand right there, just feed right from that point. We're going to have to check that out. 
So what I would do is, I don't know if I would feed from that point, it might be a, a hassle. It's up to you. They put that in there so that you can go ahead, like I said, put a funnel in there and, and, and fill your feeder up. But I would probably just go ahead and fill this container up right here. And then just take your feeder bottom, put it right on there once you get those baffles set. And just spin it on there like a jar of mayonnaise or peanut butter and it locks right in. And there you go. I'm sure once the seed drops down there, it'll fill these ports up and then you're ready to go ahead and hang this thing. So like all my videos, I'm going to go ahead and give you some measurements here. Now from the bottom, from where it's sitting, to that top hook, I'm going to say it's roughly 13 and a half inches. To the top of here, to the um, lantern part of the lid, looking about 11 and a half. Now width-wise, it is a good nine inches squared. These little pedestals down here, they're about two and five eighths. And they stick up a little bit, about an inch and a quarter, and they protrude out about two and three quarters. Overall, the area you need with the little perches, about nine and a quarter overall. So it's got a pretty big, meaty base to it and all. I mean, and it's gonna accommodate a lot of seed. I don't think there's anything else we can cover on that. It's a better look at it. Of course, like I said, the little area here, they want you to fill it up that way. But um, I'm too impatient and I'll spill it all over the place, no doubt. So I will probably unscrew it and put it all back together. That's my idea. So here's my uh, bird seed. Like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and fill it up. Hopefully without making a major mess. So when you take this uh, band off around here, it actually has on the back of here your instructions. It was pretty self-explanatory for me, but if you need them, they're right there. It's nice the way they put that right on there. It does say when you clean it though, you're going to have to clean it um, by hand, I guess. Do not use scalding hot water or place in the dishwasher as it may deform the feeder and I'm probably certain that would happen. And here is the, uh, the way it goes together, just like I showed you. So it's nice they put that together for you instead of having to have a um, little paper manual. So here I've got it set up and uh, you can see it right there of course, hanging right there. <laughs> And on the other side, of course, is the hummingbird feeder right here. Like I said, check out that video up top there. Um, it'll tell you the, uh, it'll give you a review. And uh, of course, we still have it. And that's my homemade uh, ant moat right up top there to keep the ants out of it. And I have another product that they, um, they have, another ant moat. And I'm going to do that soon. And I'm also going to do a review on their nectar for the um, hummingbirds. I usually mix up my own, just sugar and water. But I'm going to give theirs a shot and uh, we'll see how it works out. So that's what the lantern feeder looks like. It's fairly attractive. It's pretty big. It just got set up. So I'm going to have to wait and see if any birds come out. And maybe I'll throw that in here on this video too. But if you want to bail out now, that's up to you. Um, I do appreciate you watching it. Please subscribe. Share with your family and your friends. Give me a thumbs up. That thumbs up lets uh, YouTube know that you like our videos. And we'll keep on producing them. And uh, that'll give us a little bit of residual income that we can go ahead and uh, produce some more for you. But uh, if you want to stay tuned. We'll see if uh, some birds come along. Okay, so here's the update. The birds on the feeder now. Here they're coming. It's raining pretty good out there. But they're coming on the feeder. There's a hummingbird coming into the other feeder, matter of fact. So I guess this works okay then. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care.